Greetings everybody, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. This is just a normie with another rumor kind of rant in regards to my position with regards to Cavill's Superman. And does DC know what to do with with uh, Superman? Because they're eventually going to lose Henry Cavill. And I say that because Cavill's sought after and stuff. He is a very good actor and stuff. He's got a lot of charisma. He talks to the fan base. He's a geek himself. He's a gamer and stuff and all that. Um, so I, I, I don't know, you know, what, what the idea is behind what's going on with, uh, Henry Cavill. Um, I know recently that he has got an injury that's going to affect his performance for The Witcher, is my understanding. Um, and the other thing, too, is that Henry Cavill is wanted by um, Marvel. I think that um, Marvel sees the star power with regards to Cavill. He could play a major role, and he's still fairly young. And stuff in in uh, the Marvel movies and stuff. I'm not sure where or what, but um, there's been some discussion about the potential of Cavill playing Captain Britain. Um, it's just gossip. It's a rumor. There's nothing behind it or anything like that. Um, the character of Captain Britain debuted in 1976 and is, only, is the only Marvel character to be written by Watchmen's Alan Moore. Brian Bradcock is a super soldier who becomes Captain Britain through a magic of Merlin and his daughter Roma. Keep in mind, Richmond doesn't give any sources for the rumor or any evidence that makes this seem true. So don't hold your breath for Henry Cavill to join the cinematic marvel universe but this is the second or third rumor i have heard not about captain britain but about the potential of henry cavill actually joining the marvel universe which i think would be bet it'd be great and all that um i when i look at superman cavill is my superman yes i like christopher reeves but i like cavill as a Cavill seems so genuine as a, an actor. And this is where I, I really, really, this is where my personal bias comes in and all that. But um, I'm not sure if it'll be, I don't know if it'll be a stretch for him to, to become a Marvel superhero, which I think a lot of people would be game for, right? And all that. Um, the the reason I say this too is you know uh, Ben Affleck to Ryan Reynolds they've all played Marvel uh, major characters from Ben Affleck playing Daredevil to um, I can't remember what the other superheroes that uh, Ryan Reynolds played um, oh man oh crud buckets I can't remember and all that stuff but you guys know what I mean though you know so um. I don't know where this goes or if anything. I don't know if it's just a simple rumor or what. Um, why it's still unclear what these projects could be. You know what I'm saying? And if Cavill would be a major part of these films, I'm not sure either. Or if they would be TV series or what. Or making a, a, a cameo. I'm sure the fan base in general would be ecstatic to have Cavill in Marvel, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I think that he is the best, uh, Superman of our generation and stuff. And I see that as somebody who is not a comic book guy. So I don't know a lot of other than what I have read, you know what I'm saying? And I've made it no, I've made it no secret that I don't know much about, um, such things with regards to, you know, uh, the comic books. I, I rely on other people like uh, Nerdrotic, Doomcock, uh, Comics Division, to a lot of other people that I follow on YouTube 
And I have a lot of appreciation, uh, even into bounding into comics, the um, and all that. Sometimes I write up uh, articles and stuff like that, and and put them out with regards to my channel on on YouTube as well too. So, um, but I think it's kind of an interesting thing to discuss. And what if, um, you know, what I'm saying there's even talk of like uh, featuring Peggy Carter taking a super soldier serum intended for Steve Rogers turning her into Captain Britain, which I'd be okay with too. I love the character that plays Car uh, Peggy Carter. I, I love the Peggy Carter TV show and stuff like that. It The time period really, really uh, captures that time period of things that – and we're going on in that time period, people, that time period that a lot of people today don't understand and all that. And, um, and all that, they even don't even talk about like in history books and stuff like that. Um, but I think, um, it'd be kind of interesting though. Um, and a lot of people would accept Peggy Carter, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. She's, she's, she's great and big in her own right. Um, she hasn't been written like that on purpose and all that. But um, this rumor's been around for at least three or four years, you know what I'm saying? Not on Cavill per se, but just in general about, you know, um, this is like the third time I've heard about Captain Britain. I didn't even know that there was a Cap Captain Britain, which, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not surprised to be honest, but it seems like HBO Max is, seems to got seems to want to see what Snyder's cuts for the new Justice League is gonna uh, debut itself uh, to see where Superman's gonna be at and stuff like that. But um, let me know what you think down below about Captain Britain, uh, Superman, Henry Cavill. Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League is going to debut sometime in 2021 on HBO Max. Um, there's just so much going on, but it's just I'm getting a little overwhelmed with all this streaming services and all this stuff and all that and this and that, blah, blah, blah. So but let me know what you think down below. I look forward to hearing what your thoughts are and all that. Keep liking, subscribing and sharing. And I appreciate you all. You take care. Bye.